NDMeTV.com, the Everybody Network. From Palm Springs, California, it's Curiosity with your host, Renee Poingard. Here's Renee. Hi, and welcome to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Poignard. We have another fabulous show for you today. Our guest is Candy, and we're going to find out what Candy really truly feels about herself, and we're going to reveal what her friends feel about Candy. So please, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm uh, 34 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm divorced. Mm -hmm. I have uh, three kids. Wow. And I manage a successful restaurant. Well, certainly you do not look like you have had three children, and you definitely do not look like you're 34. Oh. You look like you're about 24. Oh, thank you. Uh huh. <laughs> so let me ask you, what do your friends really think about you? What would they say about you? Um, I'd say that they'd probably say that I'm loyal. Mm. Um, I'm caring. Um, I'm a very good friend. I'm somebody to depend on. Um, kind. Mm, okay. And your children, how old are they? 13, 11, and 10. Okay, so you got a 13 year old. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what yeah. is she saying about you, Candy? I can't say that on TV. <laughs> okay, I totally understand that. So, I want to ask you another question, and I want you to think really deep about this. Your inner soul, that inner person, what does it say who you are? Um, I live my truth. I'm very humble. Um, I try to be genuine and treat people how I'd want to be treated. Um, I'm very hardworking. Um, my kids are my life, and I do anything and everything for them. So what is your truth? My truth is to be genuine, to be who I am to the core of me. Um, and it's, I just want to be presented as this person that everyone can say, like, I left a footprint and I am just this amazing person. It's beautiful. How long have you been divorced? Since I was 25, so eight So years. you're standing on your own, you're strong, yes. taking care of the kids. Yes. Well, let's find out what your friends think about your truth, <laughs> your strength, and a great, good-looking mother. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Pinard, and we're getting ready for the big reveal. We're getting ready to tell Candy what her friends truly think about her. Are you ready? I'm ready. You think you can handle? I think I can handle it. All the questions that I'm going to ask you? I, I can handle it. And are you ready to open up Pandora's box? There may be good, there may be bad, there may be ugly. Let's open Pandora's box. Oh, my girl, give me your <laughs> hand. First of all, let me tell you something good. All your friends say that you are more appreciated than what you realize. They also say you have a good heart. And the thing that I love the most, they say that you are a good mother. And they say that you are always happy and free. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Are you ready for more? <laughs> huh? Yes. Okay. You know what they also say, Candy? Yeah, 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 yeah. They said that you like to get on the dance floor and not think about what anybody is thinking. Is that true? <laughs> Very much so. Okay, but they also <laughs> said that sometimes you overwork yourself and you don't take care of you. Is that true? It is true. They said that sometimes you're so busy taking care of other people that you totally neglect yourself. And they seem to be upset about that. Do you feel like you neglect yourself? I do. You feel like there's truth to that? There's a lot of truth to it. They say you need a massage. Oh. Do you need a massage? Is somebody going to give you a massage? <laughs> they say you need a pedicure. Oh, do you yeah. need a pedicure? I do need a pedicure. <laughs> so they say that you are all this great human being, but yet and still, you neglect yourself. Do you accept that to be true? I accept it. All right. So she had to reveal. They all say that she's overworked. That she doesn't think about herself, and she needs to. We're going to take a break, and we're going to really find out what Candy feels about that comment. 
if it's something that you really need to think about. We'll be right back. Hi, we're back, and we had a reveal. We found out that Candy is a really good person. She takes care of a lot of people. She's a strong mother who takes very good care of her children. Her friend says that she does so much for everyone else that she forgets about herself. Sometimes that could be a good thing that you're helping everybody else, and sometimes it could be a bad thing. So I have one other question. Your friend says that you like to get on the floor and don't think about what anybody thinks while you're dancing. I mean, are you like backing it up? I mean, what are you doing that they would feel that maybe you should be thinking about what you're doing on the dance floor? How do you feel about that? Is the truth to that? No, it's not that I'm backing it up. Um, I genuinely love music. So anytime that I hear any music of any sorts, like there's just this rush through my body that I just... It just allows me to be free and forget about my problems or work or whatever. I just, it's just something about music that just takes over me. I love it. So we're going to make sure we don't pay any attention to that comment, <laughs> right? Okay, but here's the thing. You're a mother of three children. Your friends say that you don't take time for yourself. How does that play out with your being a mother, working a job? Is that good? Does it come out in another way that maybe you're not aware of and that they see? Um, I think it's hard to put yourself in somebody's shoes. Uh -huh. um, I work full time and like I said, I manage. So I'm responsible for all of that. So the scheduling, the ordering, and my phone is always on and I'm always on call. And when I get home, I'm required to pick my kids up from school, make sure they're fed, whatever activities we're doing for the day, and there only leaves this amount of time left in the day. And So you got all these friends that would do everything for you. You can't find a friend that would do something for you to allow you to have a few minutes so that you can refuel, regroup, get it together? My issue is, is that I don't know how to ask for help. I just do it myself. So are we going to make changes about that? You heard it. You heard your friends. So apparently they see something that let them know that you're lacking time for yourself, energy, feeling good. So are you going to think about what you need to do to make sure that you feel good? I got a question for you. How do you know your children don't know that you're tired and worn down? I guess I never really thought about that. Mm -hmm. I just make sure that everybody, or try to make sure that everybody is taken care of and it's an afterthought. So the caretaker can actually not be able one day to do her job because she's not taking care of herself. So give that some thought. We're going to go to the commercial. We're going to come back. I would love to hear how you, Candy Free Spirit, who take care of everyone else, is going to make sure that you're able to do what you have to do for the next hundred years of your life. All right? All right. We'll be back. Stay tuned. I can't wait to hear how we're going to resolve this. Hi, and welcome back to Curiosity. We just had to reveal we just told Candy what her friends truly felt about her. And what we learned, she is a loving person. She's a hard worker. She's a great mom. But they also said that you are overworked and never, ever think about yourself. So what are you going to do about it? I mean, do you believe it? Do you trust it? Do you need to respond to it? Or do you even care? I, I care very much so what my family and friends uh, have to say about me. Mm -hmm. um, I do believe that I am overworked mm -hmm. and I put myself on the back burner. Um, I think it's important that I do take care of myself. Unfortunately, it's not something that I do naturally. I, I worry about everybody else. So I will be mindful coming into 2020 to take time out for myself, even if it's 30 minutes or an hour because it's important that I am 
the best version of myself for my kids and for the rest of my um, family and friends. Mm -hmm. That's quite all right. That was a good reveal. That was a good reveal. You're a good person. And you just do need to take some time for yourself. Matter of fact, when we leave here, we're going to get a pedicure, girl. We're going to see you next week. You want to make sure you stay, turn into our next show. It's going to be a good one. What kind of polish do you like? Wait. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss the next one. TV.com, the Everybody Network.